What's up guys, I'm Mike Knowles, and you assholes out there had to take things too far. As we learned the last couple months since Pokemon Go's been released, it can do great things bringing people together and having impactful changes on our communities, and at the same time, be destructive with countries banning it, people finding dead bodies, muggings, etc. And of course, Hillary Clinton using it to appeal to millennials. But I'm trying to figure out how we get them to have Pokemon go to the polls. But this guy really takes the cake for biggest asshole related to Pokemon Go. Last night, Ricky Yaneza, who blogs and streams on Twitch, was going on another of his routine Pokemon Go live streams as he tracks down numerous rare Pokemon around New York City. On his way to catch a Snorlax that spawned in Grand Army Plaza, he was assaulted by an unknown individual live on his Twitch stream, who then proceeded to mug him for all his phones and run all the while Ricky pleaded with him not to do what he was doing. It took the man three minutes to realize that the stream was actually happening and he was on the internet before resetting all the phones, ending the stream, with all the viewers of the stream watching in disbelief at what was happening right in front of their eyes. Ricky later tweeted out, I got mugged playing Pokemon Go in Central Park. Still talking to the police and will go to hospital soon. My jaw's a mess, thanks all. He later went on to check in again with Twitch to try to find the footage, only to find his Twitch account had been suspended. He tweeted out about it. My at Twitch account, busy, got suspended. Literally insult to injury, hashtag Twitch. According to an email he got from Twitch, it's because he violated terms of service under non-gaming content. I'm sorry, Twitch, that someone violated his personal being to cause three minutes of non-gaming content that he couldn't control. His bad. Oh, yes, obviously. Suspend the account. Makes sense. Uh, luckily, thanks to some bystanders, he was able to get back on his feet and uh, talk to police as well as helping him get to a hospital to fix his jaw. But, like, in general, what the fuck? Like, I, I can't even believe the amount of assholery you would do. He even pointed out that, like, in the video, the guy's wearing, like, headgear, either like a flashlight or maybe it's like some kind of like camera or something like that. And he suspects that it's because of the fact that he wanted to blend in with other people playing Pokemon Go as to not stand out. So it's like, you're targeting people trying to just go out and have a good time. What a fucking scumbag. Anyway, guys, if you want to try to support Ricky, you can go to his Twitch channel with a link in the description down below. I think it's twitch.tv slash RickyBot. Um, but yeah, please go support him. Uh, really fucking sucks what happened to him. So what kind of street justice this asshole get? Let us know in the description down below. As always, guys, subscribe for more great daily content or check out another video, and we'll see you guys later. For all of you guys that are Pokemon fans, I'm getting a little bit bored with the game story or the anime story, which has been getting pretty boring. I've got great news for you guys today. The Pokemon Company just announced through their promotional video for it on their YouTube page, Pokemon Generations. Generations will be a series of Pokemon animated adventures taking place in each of the Pokemon regions, from Kento all the way to XYZ, or at least theorized that far by the appearance of Zygarde. The best part is that Pokemon Generations will be taking a note from the old Pokemon Chronicles, where we'll be jumping around for